unidentified flying object. You guys see that? See that? See that? Do you see that? What's up guys, it's me, Do Not Obey, and welcome back to another video. Now we're doing a Halloween review. For Sale. Now, For Sale is a really, really, really good uh, movie to me. It's a horror comedy. Now, it starts off with this guy named Mason, okay? Or Mace, he does go by that. You, gotta, you guys gotta watch it. Hi, so you're looking for a sales expert. Now, he is a real good salesman, or was a real good salesman, but he does some janky things and he ends up losing his license, okay? Now, he does little sale jobs here and there of homes, but it's not enough to cut the bills. He ends up losing his whole relationship. I can sell anything. Isn't that what you want? That's what I am here for. You lost your job. And getting kicked out. Fast forward, he ends up meeting this heavy set, a blonde head dude. Now he has these homes or this one particular home that will not sell. I've pretty much sold everything and believe me, I'm up to the challenge. Well, you just might be in luck. You need the right property and I need the right man. That has been sitting on the market forever. The most unsellable properties in this state. Fast forward, Mason gets to the house. Off gate, the house already shows that it's creepy, but his personality is kind of goofy, like kooky, but he's also self-absorbed and kind of, to me, I don't know, probably could be like an arsehole. You know, you'll see it if you watch the movie. Idyllic abode will remind you of what the good life is supposed to be. Hello? So little things are happening. He's hearing things, but he, like I said, he's dismissing it. Well, this black couple, this scene to me is funny as hell because they do exactly what I feel we would do, um, was totally tear out. So technically, it's a smart home. The furniture knows exactly when to move itself. Like they're walking around the house, this black lady with her realtor, he's showing them things, the, the doors keep opening them, he's trying to shut them. In. Hey! You know, they're like looking like at him like, dude, are you okay? Because he's terrified by, by now because as you can see, like, the house has scared him to death at this point. So there's furniture in one part of the house. The black, you know, the black pe people are walking around, like looking at the house. And the furniture ends up being on the opposite side of another door somewhere in the house. Honey, they tear the hell out. So he get, he's feeling defeated, he's feeling down. And you know, some weird things happen. And then he gets the idea, like, booby trap like making sure like if the door slams shut he puts like a door stopper up under like he tries to rig the house as good as he can by putting like once I like I said door stoppers and just he's just trying to rig the damn house okay now of course he does ask the man that has the deed you know the the guy that he's kind of working for um if there's anything that's happened in that house and he tells him no blah 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 like but come to find out the man does know because whoever owns the deed, there's a curse on the deed. The very first murders were in this room. Everyone who lives here may just suffer as they did. Okay, and the home has a hunger. And we find this out because he ends up getting this young ass psychic or medium lady. Young lady, and her fucking personality is so dark. It is so, um weird and it's like mysterious this house has a bit of history apparently anyone that kind of sort of ends up dead kind of sort of dead and serious and she ends up getting hurt and being a ghost in the house spoiler alert i'm just saying uh, agreement with and um but she does uh, help him in the physical and in the spiritual you guys will find that out there's someone here 
and he also makes himself a big sacrifice because like I said there can only be one person in the home and the person in the home um, that's staying there will get the nightmares we get terrified you know we get haunted but if more than two people like just two are in the home it's always been a ooer ooer eye you know somebody will hurt somebody and the other person will take themselves out that's the whole history of what has been happening at this house. I really like for sale. It's really good. He ends up saving this guy because he sells it to this guy at the end. Like, we don't sell it. He's amazed that somebody wants to buy it, okay? And the guy said he knew what happened there and he's down okay with the history. And he asked him, was he single? And he said, yeah. But what the man didn't tell him is that he was single, yes, but he has a daughter. So when he finds out that he has a daughter, you know, some weird things are happening to them. He ends up calling Mace. So Mace gets a phone call uh, from the dad and daughter because some weird things are happening. He's battling if he's going to let them just stay and let the house eat them because he just made the sale. He just made this money. He is feeling like on top of the world like he always does because he's consumed with himself. And, and it doesn't matter what he has to do to make to make that sale. Well, he does help him. He sacrifices himself. He is officially going to be a ghost in the house. And, um, but it's funny because like, they're trying to do everything to make sure the house never sells so the house can never feed. That's what I'm kind of getting out of it. So I hope you guys do please, please watch for sale. It's on Amazon, Amazon Prime. And like I said, to me, it's a really good movie. It's funny. It, 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 it goes. It's not slow. I like it. I watched it twice. I liked it. So let me know what you guys think. All right. Peace.